Thank good you. to see you. Great to see you. You were bald last you. time you were here. Last time I was bald, now I'm not. Yeah. No, yeah, that, that was just after we'd finished filming Rocket Man. And for the role, we sort of dyed my hair orange, thinned it out, shaved my hairline up, but it grew back. It did grow back. Were you ever worried that it might not grow back? Every single Every day. day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think about that sometimes. If I shaved my head, maybe it wouldn't come back and that would be it. Yeah, yeah, the anxiety was massive. Well, I thought you were just terrific in the movie. It is, it's Thank a you. lot of fun to watch. Thank you. I was wondering if, after President Trump called Kim Jong-un Rocket Man. Yeah. Did anybody say, hey, maybe we need to th rethink the title of this movie? Was anyone well, worried? The, no, but no. I, it crossed my mind. It did, yeah. I, I thought the, the, <laughs> yeah, the only other thing I thought it could have been was I'm Still Standing. That would have been quite cute. Yeah, or Tiny but, Dancer or something like that. Yeah, 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 any, <laughs> any of the above. <laughs> yeah, so you were running over alternate titles, but nobody yeah. else was. Yeah. Did you know there was another movie called Rocket Man? I discovered really? this today. I was looking something up, and yes, this is a real movie from 1997 <laughs> starring Harlan Williams. That's, what's hilarious is that's exactly how I look in Rocket Man. <laughs> <laughs> in this one, I'm not sure, I did not see this film, but it would seem that he died in space, so... Yeah. Not quite the fun of the movie that you made, but no, uh, there no. you go. How about that? How was about it, that? Uh, you saw the premiere with Elton John. I did, yeah. What was that like? We had this incredible experience. We premiered the movie at Cannes, and I'd never been to Cannes, and from what I'm led to believe... None of us have. No, no, yes. we could. <laughs> but we've got something in common already. This is going to go very well. But uh, apparently I'd been led to believe that they can be a little... a little cold if, if, they're not, if they don't approve, and I've even heard rumours that they can boo. Yeah, they do boo. They uh, boo sometimes. Yeah, so I was understandably quite nervous going in, and I'd found out that I wasn't sat next to Elton, which initially I was furious about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. And then the lovely people from the marketing department at Paramount said, well, he's going to sit between his friend of 50 years and his husband. And I was like, all right, all right, OK. Yeah. I can say that. <laughs> yeah, but, but, it, you, but you're it, him. You're even closer to him right. than them. So I'm sat here, uh -huh. Bernie Taupin, Elton John, David Furnish, and Dexter Fletcher, the director here, and we sort of watched the whole movie at this kind of angle, you know, to try and, to try and ascertain if he approved or not. Had he not seen anything before? So he'd seen, so he'd seen bits, rushes, mm -hmm. dailies, and the trailer, I think, several million times. But not him. the whole but, movie. But not the whole movie. It was the first time I'd seen it, seen it with all the, the finished, uh, all the finished VFX and everything. And to see them, you know, watch the scene in which they meet in 1968 or whatever, and be grabbing each other on the knee, Bernie and smiling, yeah. Bernie and Elton. And then at the end of the movie, um, Elton, about 15 minutes before the end, just absolutely broke down and he was blubbing. And then, and then this amazing thing happened. So the lights come up and I'm very moved because Elton has moved. Yeah. But Elton, because he's an old pro, has managed to get himself looking immaculate again. <laughs> Whereas I am just melting, you know, with all these cameras on me. But it was amazing. And, we, you know, I was visualising scenarios in which we'd get booed, and we received a four-minute standing ovation. Yeah, well, that's pretty incredible. good, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's... <laughs> and the reviews have been great, too. Do you look at that sort of thing? So I try and avoid reviews, but Elton sends me them every day. He does? Every day. I mean, he's sort of vetting my reviews. I'm sure there are bad <laughs> ones that he's not sending. But, but yeah, it's been... He re... emails them to you? He emails them, oh. yeah. It's the same title every time. And another one. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know what Elton John's email address is. I wonder if there's... A, is there a word from one of his songs? Well, is, it's, no, it's, <laughs> no, it's, uh, no, no. Is it's it not. anything fun? Uh, no, it's quite pedestrian, actually. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm treading in danger. Yeah, no, you have to be careful. <laughs> People wind up getting into his bank account and then you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah. So the movie is... Well, it's, it's a musical, a lot it of is. it. It and is. it's an autobiography... Yes. ..or a biography of Elton and... Um, and, then, and of course, because it is, the, there are there's a lot of sex and there's a lot of drugs and yeah, all these things. Yeah, there's a things. bit of that. Yeah, there's a yeah. bit of that. Is that is that cool with like your family? Is there anyone in your family that's that's? Um... No. So yeah, actually, my uncle. Uh, it's who, always an uncle. It's always, yeah. isn't it? Always an uncle <laughs> at is. weddings and things. Yeah. So he's uh, an older Welsh gentleman, quite traditional, uh, in no way prejudiced, but quite traditional. You know? Can I swear? Yes, absolutely. We'd love so, it if you would. So he went to the cinema to see it in Sleepy Aberystwyth, my hometown, the other day. 
It was very silent during mine and Richard Madden's love scene. Apart from my uncle who went, oh, f hell! <laughs> <laughs> really loudly. Which I rather enjoyed. <laughs> Your other relatives reported this to yeah, you? Yeah, they did. My aunt did. Yeah, she texted me immediately. <laughs> One question that the movie does not answer is, what, does, what the hell does Benny and the Jets mean? Do you have any idea? I have absolutely no idea. And I've never asked Bernie Taupin. I quite like the sort of prosaic, nebulous quality of things. We take the songs in our movie and use them to tell the story. So Benny and the Jets in our film is all about... It's at a real low ebb. It's all about excess and darkness and, and sort of anger and frustration. <laughs> Elton sang at Dodger Stadium. It was such a big deal. An iconic thing, right? Yeah, it was like I, I, don't, I don't know that anyone had done anything like that before. And, no. And but nice hit, by the way. Okay, yeah. So me hitting the baseball the first time. I, you know, I said today to the director before we started, I was like, look, let's just do it. Let's just do it with CG because I'm gonna make a fool of myself. I hit that thing every time. Really? <laughs> no word of a lie. Had you ever played baseball before? Never played baseball before, and I tried to do it again afterwards, and I missed it every time. <laughs> I don't know, I must have just been channeling the big man, but it went very well. Yeah, long. it's funny, because you're thinking, oh, the singing is what I really have to nail, and then suddenly you have Someone to hit a baseball. Someone gives you a baseball bat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about the singing? You did all your own singing. I did, yeah. You did a great job Thank with you. that. And, but also, what is the hardest Elton John song to sing in, in, of all the hits? I don't know. I mean, I've, I, Elton said, you know, at the start of the process, he said, you're, you're, a, you're a ballad singer, you can hold a tune, It'll, the, the rock stuff will be what tests you. So, oh. Benny and the Jets, Saturday Night's Alright for Fighting, those things that need that kind of gravel. And I remember, to begin with, I was dreadful at it. And then, I, the, one of the last things we recorded about sort of four or five months into the process was Pinball Wizard. And I, e and I emailed him a rough mix after a few drinks mm -hmm. uh, just to see what he thought. And he said, uh, he just wrote back, you've got it now. And so uh, that was you, very When you say you were dreadful, did others agree that you were dreadful or was everyone telling you you were no, good? No, but you know when everyone's being nice and you can just tell. Yeah. You can tell when they were being nice. You can just tell when they were Elton being included, nice. was he being supportive and... Elton's very supportive. He's not always nice, but he's very supportive. <laughs> uh <-huh. yeah. laughs> he's the best. <laughs> Do you, have you become, like, you think you will have a lifelong friendship with Elton John now? Uh, oh, it sounds so weird to say, doesn't it? You know, like, I love him. And, um, and he, uh, you know, he, he wrote me a very beautiful note on the day of the Cannes premiere, and, um, and he said, we're cut from the same cloth, and, uh, I hope I'm here for many years to come to be your touchstone, which is... You, oh, yeah, well, that's <laughs> very, yeah, that's very sweet. Do you... Have you been to his house? I have. You have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his house like? Yeah, it's, it's, it's big. Yeah. Uh, it's very... It's More very... than three bedrooms? I think so, okay. yes. That's how I imagined it, yeah. The guest, room, the guest room that I stayed in is known as... It's like the cat room, and it's just full of ornamental cats. Oh, or ornamental, OK. <laughs> Which, right. for some people, is really nice. I like cats, but for some people, it wouldn't be what you wanted, would it? But it's yeah. very lovely. Is it there... smells fantastic at the, uh, the Furnished John. It doesn't house. smell like cats? It does not smell no. like cats. I think that's the beauty of the ornamental ones as opposed to the real ones. Yes. <laughs> is there a huge piano in the middle of the so place? So there's a huge piano, but you can't play it because it's covered in things like ornamental cats. What? <laughs> Well, he doesn't play piano at home. I think he spends so much time on the road that when he's at home, he wants to, he wants to be dad, you know, and do the family man Interesting. thing. Interesting. So, so, no, there's not much piano playing going on. Do you on think there. you're in his will now? Do you think he's, like, taking that much of a shine to you that he's, he's put you in there? Maybe give you a few ornamental cats or something like that? I might get a doormat or something. <laughs> I don't know. I would hope so. Well, great job in the movie. Thank it's you. It's so much fun to watch. It's called Thank Rocket you. Man. It opens the theaters. Friday, Terry Edgerton, everybody.
Thanks for watching. And remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.